So today we're at this legendary circuit, Brands Hatch, and I'm here to give you some tips and pointers to get the best out of the GP layout. To help me tackle this amazing circuit, Dunlop have given us some D212 GP races, and I've fitted them to my Suzuki GSX-R 1000. Heading down the start finish straight in fifth gear, use the second white line at the marshal's hut as your braking marker and then look for the pit lane exit line which joins the middle of the track. Peel in once you reach the end of the line where it becomes a T and then look to apex at the start of the smaller kerbs. The track drops away at this point to so be smooth with the throttle on your drive up to Druids. Hold third gear and look for the end of the kerbs and the start of the green as your braking reference. Back shift into second gear for the corner entry. Enter about one metre off the kerbs and then bring it down to a late apex on the exit. Stand the bike up and use no more than three quarters of the track on your run down to Graham Hill Bend. Hold second gear and brake just after the white line which crosses the track. Enter on the far right of the track but be careful not to rush in as the exit is crucial here. Wait until you can see through the corner to open up the exit. Now you can stand the bike up and drive hard to the kerbs, shifting to third gear on your run into Surtees. The orange square on the right hand side marks the braking zone and shift back to second gear. This corner tries to suck you in for an early apex, but hold the middle of the track for a late apex, which will allow you to square the corner off, stand the bike up and drive hard off the corner as the track cambering drops away. Short shift to third gear here to help reduce the wheelie as you accelerate hard and aim to be in a new tarmac strip as the track kinks to the right. Pilgrim's drop is the fastest part of the circuit and the ideal line is down the left hand side of the track. Shift back to third gear, braking at the bottom of the dip and peel in just before the 100 yard board for yet again another late apex. Hold third gear and let the bike drift out to the end of the kerbs on the left hand side on the approach to Westfield. Brake just before the 200 yard board and turn in just before the 100 yard board. This corner is very deceiving and you don't need to go back a gear. Once you apex at the kerbs, the track really opens up on the exit. Be ultra smooth with the throttle as the track gets quite bumpy here. Drive hard down Dingle Dell, through the dip and brake as the track begins to go back up. This is a really tricky sector as everything compresses on the blind entry to Sheen Curve. Aim for the left hand side of the track and tip in for an apex at the kerbs. Track positioning is really important here so make sure you don't rush in. Once again be careful with the throttle as the track really flattens off on the exit. Approach Stirling Bend in third gear on the far right of the track and brake at the 200 yard board. Shift back to second before tipping in at the white line. Apex at the kerbs and let the bike drift to the right side of the track. Up to fourth gear for the run down to the final corner, braking at the tarmac change and shift back to third gear for clearways. This is a tricky corner as the track drops away. Build the throttle in gently once you get over the top of the crest and let the bike run out to the middle of the track before dragging it down to a late apex at the marshal's hut. And then it's wide open and up to fifth for the drag to the finish line. We've had a great day here at Brands Hatch and hopefully my pointers will come in handy next time you're here. Suzuki's been mega and the new Dunlop D212's have been awesome. 